Hi guys, how are you? Доброго дня, як справи? Ми продовжуємо наші відеоуроки англійської мови і на сьогоднішньому уроці ми продовжимо вивчення теми The United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Ми потренуємося у читанні, а також виконаємо онлайн-тест, посилання на який знаходиться в описі до цього відео. Під час читання ви зможете пригадати вже відомі вам факти про об'єднане Королівство Великої Британії та Північної Ірландії, а також отримаєте порцію нової інформації. Отже, до вашої уваги слова та словосполучення, що допоможуть розібратися з розумінням тексту. Опрацюємо їх разом. Sovereign Married to Next in line British crown Consist of Crazy about Scenery Tartan Cecil Backpipe In honor of Patron Saint Probably Leak Daffodil Resolved Прочитаємо текст разом. For a thousand of years The United Kingdom united under one sovereign, a king or a queen. Elizabeth II is now the Queen of Great Britain. She is married to Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. The Queen has four children, Prince Charles, Prince Charles, Princess Anne, Princess Andrew and Prince Edward. Prince Charles is next in line to the British crown. The royal family lives in Buckingham Palace, a very beautiful building in the centre of London. The United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland consists of England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. The capital of England is London. The capital of Scotland is Edinburgh. The capital of Wales is Cardiff. The capital of Northern Ireland is Belfast. Every country in the UK has got its own symbol. The symbol of England is a red rose, and English people are crazy about gardening. The English are also famous for their love of mouths. A lot of families have pets. English football is famous, of course, But there is another national sport too, cricket. English people like to talk about the weather. The 23rd of April is St. George's Day, England National Day. Scotland is very famous for its beautiful scenery and the lake called Loch Ness. An important symbol of Scotland is a special kind of material called Tartan. Traditional tartan skirts are called, are called kilts, and many Scots wear them, women and men. Another Scottish symbol is the thistle. People in Scotland play very unusual musical instruments, called bagpipes. 
Saint Andrew's Day is celebrated in Scotland, Scotland on the 30th of November in honor of Saint Andrew, the patron saint of Scotland. A red dragon is probably the oldest symbol of Wales. Another symbol of Wales is a vegetable called the leek. People wear them on their coats on St. David's Day on the 1st of March, the Welsh national holiday, although some people wear another symbol of Wales, the daffodil. Welsh people are famous for their singing and their musical festivals. Rugby is their national sport. The most famous symbol of Ireland is the shamrock. In Ireland you may see different shades and tones of green. Green is one of the symbols of Ireland and everybody wears green on St. Patrick's Day, the 17th of March. The Irish national holiday are famous for their playing, singing and dancing. People in Britain are reserved and conservative. They have kept their traditions alive for centuries. Everyone who was born in Britain is British. People from England are the English. People from Scotland, Wales and Northern, Northern Ireland are not English. There is the Scottish or the Scots, the Welsh and the Irish. People from Scotland and Wales don't like it when they are called the English. Everyone in Britain speaks English. But in some parts of Scotland and Wales people speak different, speak different languages as well, Gaelic and Welsh. The Welsh are especially proud of their language. People in Wales like to speak Welsh, to sing songs in Welsh, and when you travel you can see road signs in Welsh all over, all over Wales. The Irish too. Everyone in the UK speaks English, but they all speak it differently. Після опрацювання тексту перейдіть за посиланням під відео та виконайте онлайн-тест. Бажаю вам успіху! Ну що ж, а на цьому наш відеоурок завершено. Дякую всім за увагу. Goodbye!